Good afternoon, Jason Shepard here with the Anchor Room. Today we're going to talk about the tools needed for this installation. This is a general tent insulation video and in front of you you're going to find a microfiber towel, a felt tip squeegee, application fluid which is one milliliter of baby shampoo to 32 ounces of water and just that also by itself water in a spray bottle on the right hand side. The reason we are going to use application fluid and water application fluid is soapy water so we can place the item on the vehicle position it to where we want it then we would use the water by itself to wash out any soap residue to get the item to stick. One item not shown in this installation is the actual heat gun itself which may be required for tapering edges. Alright, just a little video we're going to make here is for the uh, mirror marker lens on this Ford Focus. We wanted to make sure we did a little video for this particular item because it does have some ag aggressive angles here towards the end of the lens. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of heat and a little patience to get this on there. The lens has been previously cleaned, as you can tell it's still wet. Um, we're going to take our um, tint piece off of the backing material, spray the lens itself heavily as well as the backing of the tint itself heavily with the application fluid. Now this, pen, this piece was actually designed to fall over into the black part of um, the uh, lens itself. So just align it all the way on the back side here and let it fall forward. You're going to get to a point you just need to make sure it's in the absolute center of the lens. You're obviously going to have pieces sticking up here at the top as well as the back but as you can tell when you push it down you notice there's definitely enough material there. So um, again just with your thumb um, you can easily um, move out the majority of the application fluid by just moving it across the lens. But for the majority of this piece you're definitely going to use heat to contour the lens or the tint piece to the lens. So we're going to turn on our heat gun. We're probably just going to use a felt tip squeegee for the tucking underneath. We're going to use a microfiber towel to make sure that we dab up any excess liquid and form the um, tint piece to blend. As you can tell, just adding a little heat already, it pretty much just falls into place. Um, you may have to pull it up a few times to, to get it right, but like I said, with a microfiber towel, it's all about just applying a little bit of heat, rubbing it down. You can tell it does fall right into place fairly quickly. Any little tiny fingers like that guy right there, I'm not sure if you can see that, but like I said, just keep applying a little bit of heat. And then rub it down with the uh, edge of the microfiber towel. Same thing for the bottom. What the heat's doing, obviously, from the heat gun, is um, making the tint more malleable. It's also evaporating the uh, application fluid and/or water, um, giving that uh, tint an opportunity to stick. Um, with this piece in particular, after we center it and work our way from the center out, um, we're going to work our way from the front side of it towards the back. Um, be careful not to apply too much heat, obviously. Too much heat can cause distortion as well as excess um, stretching, so you could actually make this piece too large for the lens if you're not careful. But just moving forward a little bit at a time. I think you're going to find yourself fighting with the fingers for the majority of the time and that's kind of what this heat gun is for. Just be patient, take your time as you can tell, they're slowly but surely coming out. Almost like you could tell, adding a little heat, it's almost like the material falls right to the lens almost on its own. But 
don't remember. Uh, remember not to apply too much heat at once. Don't want to scorch the material like I mentioned and or the car. So. And you can continue to lift if you need to. Move those pieces carefully. Um, the front side, I guarantee, is already on there. It's not going to go anywhere at this point. But um, as you work your way to, towards the back where the difficulty starts, um, it's just the patience thing. Towards the back, you're going to have to wrap it around the lens a little bit to get it to fall flat and forward or fall flat into place. Sometimes it also helps to have a little extra liquid on there. It's almost like a lubrication to give your finger and or microfiber towel an opportunity to glide across the material. But as you can tell by just a little bit of patience and time, everything falls right into place. Keep working with those fingers and in just a couple of minutes you'll have a uh, much nicer looking piece in your car.